Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Monster Hunter on Playframe with two Dans and their cats and all these good poses. Um, Dan, first off, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm having a good time here at this uh, fiesta, apparently. Yeah. Look at this. So I didn't fully appreciate, like, this game came out six years ago now. They've had a sequel out for years, and yet they are still doing a bunch of seasonal events annually with new stuff and new, like, little costumes for your pig and handler and new gear and stuff to get. There's all kinds of new things they're still doing regularly in this game. Yeah. And it amazes me. It's, it's wild that, like, I felt like I did everything in this game when it came out and then still going to like the armor smith and being like i've never seen this armor set before what what where did this come from what is this <laughs> exactly they keep adding it like look at this great cat costume i have this costume or an equivalent of it for gwibbers and i love it so much i will probably switch to it pretty soon it's very good. It's a very good costume. It's so good. Just the little, the little blep tongue is such a delight. Yep. <laughs> All right. It is time for goodness. The festivities, the costumes, everything. It's a lot. Uh, it is time for our next mission, though. Another variant hunt of a glavinous, acidic glavinous. I really don't have any idea what to expect from this, but. My poison lance is probably not a great idea. It just occurred to me. Maybe I should switch to a different lance. Acid, poison, <laughs> I feel like those are different ballparks. That's true. I mean, we could we could we could try. We could see how it goes. Even if you've got a suboptimal status you're trying to apply, it usually doesn't do like a straight up like Final Fantasy elemental thing where it heals it. So, yeah, it's probably fine. All right, yeah, this it's waiting on a cutting one, so Oh, okay. I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you enjoy you enjoy the festivities and the seasonal foods. Mm -hmm. I will go out there and see what it is that will be attempting to eat me today. I'm gonna go get a kebab and maybe you know some like some rum punch or something. Ooh, that sounds. <laughs> they got something around here. <laughs> Let's get a nice get a nice buzz going for a hunt. <laughs> yeah. It's dwarven style. You're telling me though the hunters in Monster Hunter don't get a buzz going out <laughs> to get a hunt. That's that's canon. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah. That's fair point. There, there's like too much. There's too much jolliness in this community. <laughs> yeah, for these people to not be getting one for the road. Even just the way they hold a cup and all the cutscenes, like you know, they've been drinking. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and like yeah, you have choices between sort of like like all kinds of very drunken looking animations when sitting at the table for dinner. Do you want to like look very rowdy like you're singing a bar song? Do you want to look passed out of the table? <laughs> yeah. It's very good. Yep, yep. Well, they're sending us to the Elder's Recess, I think is what this one is. Just, no, the Rotten Vale. You know, whichever one is like the opposite in vibe from the Gathering Hub right now, that one. Yeah, yeah. I do, I do love the Rotten Vale a lot, though. Yeah. Especially when you get, like, to the lower area, where it's kind of that, like, weird blend of, like, decaying, but, like, the... They got, like, the glowy water and stuff like that. It's all cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. I like that, too. All right, I found the cutscene room. Oh, And the creature animation in this game. Yep. Ooh, and look at that very dripping acidic tail. Real cool. And that teal coloring. There's lots to like about this. Yeah. From a safe distance. Get 
Zero, so I don't know why you chose this fight. Giros is like the small, spunky dog of the Monster Hunter world. <laughs> <laughs> I can take anything. Yeah, they do not recognize size mm -hmm. as a concept. We have to get our there we go. Yep, yep, yep. I have been noticed. Man, the, the jazz track that was just playing. <laughs> was really good. So I wonder where, if anywhere, I can do decent damage to this thing. Oh, it's so cool how it just like sprays that acid with the tail swipes. That's really cool, but I don't know what to wah, hi to do about it. Thanks, Quivers. Betting it's closer to this camp. I'm gonna try that. All right, you're poisoned. That's something. So that's good. What an amazing creature. All right, so when its tail's not all like coated in the yellow stuff, it's a good weak point. When it is coated up, it's actually defended pretty well. Good to know. Okay. Didn't see that one coming in time. Okay. Nope. Whew. So threatening with those tail swipes. Woohoo! All right. Easy. Nope. No chill on this one. I maybe forgot to drink my demon and armor drug. <laughs> you too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, Samson's doing a great job with the distractions. No time like the present. Oh, junkie hit. Ooh, the reach. It is definitely time for some tenderizing. Yeah, I got its tail inside. Awesome. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay. I respect you. <laughs> Dog, yeah. Aww. Yeah. He, he he taught me a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the monsters just got to teach us a little lesson. Yeah. Because they want the best for us. And you know what? I thank you, Flavinus. <laughs> Ellis, how are we going to learn? Yeah. So I know we're still a, quite a ways off from Wilds. Is there anything that for you is sort of like a wish list, like dream edition or change or something for this new game to bring? Either for like hmm. your weapon or for like uh, a creature type or a feature, quality of life. I feel like um, better, better multiplayer. I think would be a yeah like yeah just iron out the the few remaining kind of like kinks that it's got yep because it, it's it's close and I think even um did rise I think you could just join without seeing cutscene and rise because it was the cutscene was at the start yeah that's really like the one hitch if they can solve that then the rest of multiplayer and world I'm pretty happy with I think yeah 
Well, I think I think that in Rise, Rise you could just join. Yeah, yeah. There was there was no like, wait until the cutscene to see it. Yeah, and that's definitely that definitely makes co-op play in the world very awkward. Yeah. Um. I definitely like the uh, the like guild hall where it's like what up to like sixteen players. Yeah. And people can just kind of come and go as they please. I like that a lot. Definitely agreed. And the like SOS system in World is so much better than it, it might as well not exist in Rise. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't really know. Yeah, like just just a bunch of monsters. I don't know. It's like it's one of those <laughs> I'm pretty happy with where the game's at. Yeah, so it's like give me some more monsters and some more neat clothes I can make out of them. I got what I need. Ah, Man, he hits hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then gets bored and leaves. Yeah, he really did just like, eh. <laughs> I tire of this. Might as well sharpen up, I guess, if it's just going to give me a chance. Well, that's a good point. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah. I hear Angie. Yeah, no. I can confirm Angie. I'm seeing it nice and up close here. That'll work. Ooh. Hey. Did that hit? Nice. Yeah, it did. Awesome. Got a great angle on it from here. <laughs> There's just enough to kiss the tail. Woof. A jump on this thing. There we go. Okay. Coming down. Beautiful. I feel like this one may be one of those where tail cuts aren't... Well, maybe there's a bit of tail cut possibility, but... Uh, yeah, there is a tail cut. It's, I think it's a tiny one, too. Like, it's it's the very tip. It makes sense, because, like, the oh, there tail goes. is kind of like its whole <laughs> weapon. Oh, well, nice. He kind of positioned it just perfectly clipping through the floor for me. It was really nice. <laughs> it's not a spot to be. I'm glad I have a very large shield. Otherwise, I'd be very scared for myself. Ow. Because it's very angry. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, it's tail just sort of like Gets wedged in the ground like a sword. <laughs> That's so yeah. perfect. What an amazing moveset. Okay, okay. Boy, I sure am pushing B to dodge, and that is not helpful for the situation. <laughs> Yeah, no, Dan and I were kind of uh, saying before we started recording here, like, we've both been dabbling in Elden Ring or playing a lot of Elden Ring, as the case may be, uh, this week. And uh, it's just a guaranteed way to mess up your muscle memory on the controls here. I guess the more I think about it, I don't think there's ever going to be a time where you and I can possibly play Monster Hunter together where one, if not both of us, isn't playing some FromSoft game a little bit. Yeah. So, like, that's just life. That's just the way it is. <laughs> Ow. It's usually, like, Ooh. like uh, maybe a hunt or two, and then I'm like, okay, I remember what I'm doing now. <laughs> Left stick to run. <laughs> okay. Get that tail. 
Yeah. Oh, I got a tail for my tail. I got a tail edge. Keep forgetting I don't have inventory space for this nonsense. Hi, Grumpy. Oh. I don't think I've actually seen you throw stuff like that before. Oh, did it fling some of that kind of like acid stuff? Yeah. Yeah. It's really cool. I right, do something I can counter. I want to throw you at a wall. Ow. Come on. How do you feel about being blinded? Ooh, well timed too. No sharp blade for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? It was just the warm up. He lifts his head up at the perfect moment. Okay. okay. <laughs> he, he's, he's watching my screen. <laughs> it's cheating. Um, that's it. Glavinus is. <laughs> Screen cheating. He's watching my screen. Laminus won't let me have Eternal turn on the Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Look at you doing work. Ow. Yeah, I deserve that. Ah, such cool animations. Oh, I had, I forgot I had flash bugs, which I don't think will flinch them into the wall. Hmm. Got a torch pod, which might. Do it. Yeah, nice. there we go. Okay, that's not something I can hurt. There we go. Oh, ho, ho. there's a there's a 1k. Wow. I'd say I aspire to that, but there's no way this lance or a lance of any kind, I don't think is getting that kind of number. Listen, I believe. <laughs> Maybe if I, like, attach my lance to some sort of, like, rocket, I can launch at its face. <laughs> so the lance is technically involved. <laughs> yeah. A lance that fires lances. There you go. Maybe a lance that's with some kind of gun attached. Hmm. A gun lance. Nah, Maybe. Like, that'll never is work. that anything? <laughs> nah. <laughs> It does amuse me a lot that the gun lances, like, attacks are all, like, chops, or a lot of them, whoa, a lot of them are just, like, chopping motions, which is a very funny, awkward way for that weapon to work. <laughs> there it goes. He's, he's pouting. Look at him run. Yep. He's going to his room. <laughs> Real mad that you told mom about the Xbox hogging. Yeah, uh, you know what, that's on me. <laughs> so this is neither here nor there or anything but i did on whim suddenly remember that on multiple occasions you and i have felt baffled by the phrase the, like the world is your oyster mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as a thing and i felt i felt compelled to go figure out like what does that mean or actually more importantly where did that come from because that's that's that seems old 
And as with many things, it's Shakespeare's fault. Ah, uh, Shakespeare! Again. A troll. When will he learn? <laughs> <laughs> now... I do see, like, I looked online just to sort of see, alright, like, yeah, it's a Shakespeare thing of a... <laughs> character basically sort of saying what you would probably piece together if you thought about it. Alright, the world's your oyster. Oysters sometimes have pearls in them. It's like, it, the world is... contains treasures that are yours for the taking. Which, like, alright, that makes sense. I do mm -hmm. sometimes see some historians kind of debating, like, where did Shakespeare get that turn of phrase from? Is that just very clever metaphor? Is that, like, reference to something? Is, is Shakespeare memeing at us, basically? And one proposal I heard was, like, that there was... It's all very deep cuts. <laughs> it's like this one English lord who is known for, like, opening oysters with a sword rather than a dagger just because the stench was bad because he lived very many many dozens of miles inland and you couldn't get oysters shipped very quick in those days <laughs> someone else i saw speculating that it was like a brand of wine or something that it was in reference to like a oyster thing that like with opening with this i don't know i think it huh. mostly was just poetic language but the the ultimate moral of the story is shakespeare is to blame classic Yep. I'm just getting these grabs over and over again, so... <laughs> <laughs> like, he's not responding, so I'm just gonna keep doing it. Yep, yep. Oh, I think he wise There that. we go. Finally got annoyed enough, it's like, alright, that does it. I've had it with you two. Alright. Wise guys. These guys that are wise. <laughs> nice! Yay! Who's the wise guy now, huh? It's us. We're the wise guys. <laughs> We're the ones with wisdom. We're the ones. Wise guy is one of those insults that should come back. It really should. I like it. Get that back into rotation. Yeah. Because it's kind of like, it's kind of a compliment, too, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, you're, you're saying I'm wise? Thank you. <laughs> I'm flattered. Yeah. <laughs> what if, what if it was like, hey, check out these wise guys, and it's like just pointing to like all the Zeldas from the Zelda universe? Yeah. Like, <laughs> 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 Is this anything? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Poogie is in a uh, outfit right now for the festival. Yeah, I should show the Poogie outfit. It's pretty it's pretty it's good. <laughs> amazing. And it's possible like I think it's new okay. as well. It's all oh, right. Cutscene first. Celiana's new defenses have arrived safely. That wouldn't have happened if you hadn't come to the rescue. You have my thanks. Final preparations are underway on the Dragon Razor. We'll need that completed if we hope to drive back Falcana. There have already been sightings just outside Celiana's gates. We don't have much time. Listen to me. Let me make this clear. Our mission now is to drive Falcana back and protect Celiana. Phase one is to distract or bind Falcana to stall for time until that Dragon Razor is finished. The only things protecting the Dragon Razor and Celiana are you hunters and a barricade. See that the barricade isn't breached. Phase two begins once the Dragon Razor is complete. We hit Velcana with it and force it to retreat. Once it's fully built, you'll need to load fuel into the Dragon Razor before it can be fired. This sounds like a lot of steps, Commander. Okay. Yeah. All right, field team. Finish any last minute prep, then accept that quest ASAP. As soon as preparations are complete, everyone in Astera, save a skeleton crew, will be shipping out to Celiana. Get going. The stakes couldn't be much higher. Let's make this mission a success. Okay. Preparations are complete, and the burner in my heart's cooking at full blast. Let's keep Celiana safe, pard. Been a while since we had like a defense quest. I feel like. Yeah, I I was um. I remember dreading this quest. I I'm curious <laughs> how it goes now. I'm very curious as well. Like defense quests again tend to not be the most exciting. 
Yeah, it's it's it, it, it is a, a, like a unique quest. I, I think it's fun, but I just I remember like the frustration of I, I probably I also did it solo, which is probably not as uh, yeah, not as well designed for solo. Yeah, none of them really seem to be ideal for solo. That's where you feel, like, <laughs> the absence of fellow players much more strongly. Yeah. All right, Poogie, where, where are you, though? I do need to see your little seasonal outfit. Where are you hiding, pig? Oh, your Poogie didn't run up to you, I see. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> yeah, I guess I've just been <laughs> leaving it. I just abandoned it for too many, <laughs> too many years of other video games. I forgot you could, you have like customized rooms. Dan, I gotta bring you over to my hunter room at some Ooh, point. I wouldn't say your hunter room. Mine's definitely pretty sparse by comparison, I imagine. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't done much work in there. We gotta compare rooms. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Poogie's hanging in the gathering hub. Poogie. Egg. Poogie. So my Poogie was in Astera. I don't oh. know if... Huh. I just sort of assumed that Piggy, Poogie would be, like, in both hubs, but actually that's kind of funny if it's only in, uh... <laughs> you just gotta find where Poogie's hanging. I think they can be, but I don't... I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it, I, I feel like I haven't seen them in Celiana. Maybe I have. <laughs> <laughs> like, I saw them in Celiana earlier today like I, when i went into the game okay but they're not here right now and it is making me wonder is poogie just always in one of the two towns and you just got to find where poogie is it could be so mine's definitely in a because that's where i was just looking at them okay let me i'm gonna run around selling and see if i can find nope there's my poogie okay they there are two poogies <laughs> <laughs> that's cute it's so cute. It's just sort of like if there's like a cat or a dog character in a film, you know, there's like at least three or four mostly identical looking cats or dogs who are yeah. filling that role. Well, mine's very well hidden if it's in this town. I'm going to go. I'm going back to Astera. Where the pig maybe is. The, the maybe. May, I was trying to do like a babe pig with maybe <laughs> but it didn't didn't work out i sympathize there's poogie <laughs> there you are complete. with your little costume my heart's cooking at full blast. a little cooler yaku festive Bye. clinging to an egg which is in this case the poogie it's very 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 good <laughs> so cute get petted There you go. <laughs> you know, Gwibbers, we need to get you dressed up appropriately for the festivities. Then we'll go a hunting or defending or whatever. I have three pages of Poogie outfits. There's, I feel like there's probably more. They've been adding a lot. Again, it's wild how long they've continued doing just regular free updates to this game. I don't know if you have the uh, the Dodo Hama one. It's very good. <laughs> Hang on, I'll have to check that one. Uh, all right. Palico equipment is not what I'm looking at. Uh, no, no, wait. Yeah, it is. Uh, rip, rip, there we go. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Gwibbers, you look perfect. Uh, right. Let's see. Where's the housekeeper? That's how you change the poogie and handler outfits, I think. Oh, no, wait. You, you interact with the uh, poogie to change the poogie yeah. outfit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Okay. Poogie. Wow, the handler is... Uh... Very dressed up for the occasion. 
Yeah, I, I went. I made a point of going and changing that first before getting any cutscenes going, because she will definitely show up in any cutscenes you're uh, <laughs> cutscenes you are experiencing in the story. That's a good point. As whatever thing uh, she happens to be dressed as seasonally, unless you change that. And uh, I've had it happen before, and boy, it is it is wild looking when it happens. <laughs> Pokey, you're missing again. What on earth are you doing, pig? Is my Poogie Batman? Like, are you just out? <laughs> okay, there you are. <laughs> Bat pig. Let's... <laughs> let's sample... the pig clothes. Passion pig. Cosmic wise pig. Dim sumptuous red. Seaside sausage. Very cute. Pumpkin's <laughs> revenge. Boa bell coat. Love that. Sparkling party. Yes. Wall of warmth. Goodness, that is a very warm pig. Buzzy Bee, Apprentice Five, or White Jammy's Hawking Five. I don't know if I have the uh, one you uh, that you mentioned. What was it called again? A Dodo Hammer. No. Like a Dodo. What was I? What Dodo, Dodo Gano? Dodo. Oh yeah, Dodo they're, yeah, they're dressed as like a little Dodo. Ga okay, that sounds amazing. Maybe it's a thing I can unlock if I uh, work very hard and believe in myself. It's very cute. I don't remember what you do for it. <laughs> Carrie, put up a picture of this thing. Here, Thank you. I'll, I'll, got, I'll, I'll, I'll send you a, a one so you can see it in the moment. Ooh, yay. You can see it with the audience. Oh my goodness, yeah. That's a very, very good pig costume. <laughs> it's a really good costume. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, all right, okay. all right. Let me, let me get some food. Actually, let, here, I'll go up to the uh, gathering hub here in Astera and see what this place is looking like for this season. Because usually they've got different looks. Mm-hmm. I'm going to eat with the uh, the grandma cat. Just, Ooh, yeah. Just because it's been a while since I've seen the cutscene. It's so good. It doesn't matter how full you are, you'll be hungry by the end. I know. I'm just like, oh, man, I do have a... What's the name of the thing I'm looking for? Put pot roast in it. Ooh. Like a crock pot? Crock pot, thank you. I'm like, what is the name? <laughs> like, I do have a crock pot. I could, I could just buy stuff and throw it in there. It's like, I could do this. I could be doing what my hunter's doing. The Rathalos ice sculpture is very, very good out here. <laughs> Astera has got much more of a sort of like tropical sort of vibe going on. It's good times. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. But all right. I've got a place to defend or whatever. Yes, let us defend. This might be one I can pop right in, but... Ooh, that'd be nice. The defense of Celiana. Quest is up. I am really just dressed seasonally opposite as everybody else here in this hub. <laughs> I wonder if I should... I might go bow on this one and regret it. Let's find out. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's save this here. No, don't post quest. Join quest. Nope, there's a cutscene. <laughs> Yay, cutscenes. All right. It should probably be immediate, though. I imagine so. Did I eat yet? I don't think I ate yet. Let's get food and see what these cats are dressing as. Ooh, Hawaiian shirts. Love it. Cute. It's a very One Piece look about this cat. <laughs> I love that their straw hat also has the little ears in it. <laughs> Adorable. I feel like that would, you know, as cute as that is, I feel like your little ears would get burned, right? Probably. So, like, th in this case, the hat actually has not holes for the ears, but just actual, like, ex little nubs oh, that just the ears can fit in. Points. But still, that might be uncomfortable. I feel like if I had, I was wearing, had special places for like my, like, ears to fit in, that would just be, it would not be as comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm not a cat. Yeah. Whoever's, you're going to be very silly looking at any cutscenes we have going here. I can't wait. Yeah, that's a mad looking Volcano, all right. It's a little mad. We did make it mad earlier. 
We did make it mad. We need the Dragon Razor ready now! Get moving! Man the cannons! Give it everything you've got! If this longsword guy's having this much trouble, what do they think I'm gonna do? Is it the is it the like one kind of cool guy with the like Rathian armor? Yeah, with like the helm. It was like he's you never see his face. He's just always very serious. Yeah. Yep. Fire! I like that guy. I do like what they did with uh, Rise and Sunbreak, where you kind of go on hunts with NPCs. Yeah. Yeah, when you mentioned that it sounded like Wiles was going to have some NPCs that you could bring in when you didn't have other players to play with, that sounds great. Yeah. I like that a lot. It just also makes, like, I feel like that... I've never really been one to care about any of the NPCs in Monster Hunter, but I definitely, like, got more attached to NPCs in Rise just because of that. Like, oh, I'm, I'm kind of, like, doing stuff with them instead of, like... Good job! We did great out on the hunt! And I'm like, I was by myself. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. And you, we need your help with the preparations. Like, Monster Hunter stories are generally total fluff. Uh, yeah. But, like, but yeah, that would help me. I feel like I'll probably get more attached to NPCs as well if I'm actually spending... If they're actually helping me. I love the, the idea in my head of the absolute, like, tunnel distance between what you're doing right now and what I'm doing right now. Because <laughs> I'm just listening to, like, big band tropical jazz tracks. Hanging out in a festive lobby. Pretty different vibe. Very silly. Okay, I'm departing. Come on in. The water's frozen and very angry. It is much easier to see the monster itself while playing with bow. but also for the monster to hurt you very badly. Okay. I remembered... I remembered to take my Monster Hunter medicine. Goodness, all this ice nonsense you're doing. What if we break the head? Yeah, it's a great idea. Out for all the ice. I love darting and dashing around with the bow, but I think I'm coming to realize that 
Not only is this just a very gear-dependent weapon, uh, but also really relies on your ability to be accurate. Yeah. Oh, it is mad. <laughs> Ouch. Ow. Whoever's help. I did not do the dive. That's one thing I always get a little mad at <laughs> is when I'm doing a... I'm trying to jump on the monster, but it thinks I'm diving. Yeah. Because of just like the, the weird positioning I'm in or something. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Big damage. Oh, that wasn't that big damage. So much easier to hit when you hold still. I know. I'm gonna just... <laughs> oh, that's awesome. This is so cool. <laughs> that's so cool. I didn't know that was over there. That's rad. Okay, next time it yells out roaming ballista ammo, you gotta try it. All right, I will. Lokana's weakened. Second team, move it! Gunner, advance! I do like having our little NPC buddies kind of contributing out here. Dragon Razor, huh? Load with fuel, okay. Get that fuel loaded! Quick before it shakes loose! Okay. Load that fuel before it shakes loose. The Dragon Razor's on the far side of camp. I hope I'm supposed to be following you. See that feline over there? That's where the fuel cells are stored. It takes two units of fuel to fire it. I'll put it down with ballista fire. We're almost there, people. Keep the pressure off. Oh, that's right. We got to load it with fuel. Yeah. All right. Run for the fuel. Run. Quibbers, you look ridiculous, and I love it. <laughs> There's a one. I'm coming. Yay. Aren't you cold? No. <laughs> no. I radiate that much heat. <laughs> well, don't chase me up here. I can't hit you with the hey. thing otherwise. Hey, hey, dragon. Uh, let's hey, dragon. see. Can I... Stooge? Put a stooge down here? Well, I paralyzed it so we can... Hey, look, there's a stooge over here. Oh, hey, perfect. You should, you should go fight him. Just stand right about there. That's about right. Yeah, perfect. Hold still. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a so great cool. shot. That's so cool.
how is he? Fear not. He won't be kept down by a little thing like this. Hmm. Hmm. You did a fine job back there. Yeah. But it's not over yet. Hmm. Everyone, good work today. We did it. Listen up. We managed to repel the Valkana, but we have no idea if and when it'll strike again. Get everything ready. We need to move fast. Its nest is in the depths of the hinterlands. So I say, let's bring the fight to it! I'll agree to anything Matt Mercer tells me. Yeah, as defense missions go, that one wasn't so bad. Yeah, that actually went pretty well. You just get to hunt it into space for a while, fight it, and then load up the cannon and fire. <laughs> Here's something, all right. You never cease to amaze. You kept Sally on a safe and everyone in it. I can't thank you in the fifth enough for all you've done. We know where Volcana is. It has a nest deep within the reach. I just put out a quest to our top hunters. You included, obviously. Go get him. Prepare well and proceed with caution. And most important, come home safe. If you don't, I'm liable to get a little crazy here. Oh, I wouldn't want that. It's All right. Or Let's do what we Sounds can. like next time we're going to be hunting Velcana proper. And I look forward... Goodness, Poogie, you look... Absurd. And you both look absurd and delightful. Anyway... Dan and I will see you next time for actual Valkana hunting, and I think we actually get to actually defeat it this time, so that'll be fun. See you all then, and wave goodbye! Goodbye! Goodbye!